I'm in my friend Ken's um, ceramics studio. And look, all these tiny little cones. Cone, 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 cone. These are so cool. Tiny traffic cones. <laughs> and, oh, these are the tests that I just pulled out. So this clay is all of the waste clay that goes down the sink. And then this is all of the different um, glazes that people throw out, recombined, and then green. Was that green? And then I actually added a ton of blue to that one to kind of make it a little more. You're such a material recycler. It's yeah, it's nice. It also is free, which makes it <laughs> um, even better. <laughs> which is why I like bits. Bits are free. <laughs> this is true. Um, so they're just like barrels of things in different states. What um, is that? That's just a bunch of clay that's sitting, so I can. Put it back together. Oh, um, so the thing that's neat about clay is it has all of these different states. Um, it has the like the state where it's just all the powders, like all of the various um, powders. Like I thought it came in awesome. like mud clumps. It does, but it also you can also make your own clay from like the original. Um, like grinding um, it up. Yeah. Well. well no, that's, I mean, if you dig your own clay, the woman over there dig, digs all of her own clay. Um, her name's Rosa. And um, uh, and you can definitely go and find clay. And you can also buy clay. But if you want, you could also put together like what they call a clay body from, um, sorry, uh, from uh, all of the various elements. Oh, so, okay, so you can just like buy some cadmium and make some cadmium clay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not cadmium. No, I'll show you the I'll show you the room. So so there's that state and then when you add water to it you get um this state. Right? Oh yeah, this like is the, like what I expect clay to be. Right. Um you, but you can also keep add extra liquid to it and turn it into slip. So that's what's in the bucket? That's what's in the bucket. Okay. Yeah. And if you get that the right consistency, you can pour it in the molds. Oh, and, and that's yeah. how you're making that film. Yeah. See, I thought you were using this and like finger mushing no, it into the No, you thing. could do that too if, if you wanted to, but it's more effective and cleaner to do it. Like you can get a cleaner mold. It has a um, really good mush to it. Um, and then, yeah, <laughs> that's one of the, like, I could just spend a lot of time just sticking. Just it. mush? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Look at that mush. And then, um. Thank you. And then the first time you fire a clay is just to get all the moisture out of it. And okay. Is that before you do a, uh, make a shape with it? Or no, no, no. That's after you make a shape with it. Okay. Dry it out. And so this is like this has been drying for a really long time. Whoa. And then you. This is like solid. Yeah, that's a whole other. That probably isn't a great idea, but but, but that's what. Because it, it'll like, explode or something in the kiln with there's air in it. <laughs> um, and the first time you fire it, you fire it to a low temperature, so it's solid, but it um, it's still porous enough to accept glaze. And then you oh, okay. pour glaze on it, and then when it comes out... So this out, air is okay because it's thin? Mm, it's not necessarily... I wouldn't say it's okay. I would say it's... Um, for me, it's not going to matter. Oh, yeah, there's a rubber there. Um, so it's interesting. And so the, the Ooh, thing... Oh, look at the island. Oh, yeah, those are what I was going to give you to scan. <laughs> Oh yeah! Like I, I didn't. I like them better broken. This one is awesome. Um, and there are also all these parts. That Wait, can I borrow them and scan them? Yeah, you can do whatever you need. I need a lazy Susan to get this done properly. I, um, and then like that's actually one of those solid balls. Um, You're not supposed to do that then. <laughs> um, the best one is actually this blue blob. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just a blob. Yeah, it's a giant blob. This is so cool. Um, oh, this one's good too. Actually. Um, and if you fire metal. It makes me think can... of bread. Yeah. That, that makes me think of poop. <laughs> like rat poop. <laughs> and so I've been taking these tubes, which I've been making, and then pouring all of the waste glaze into them. And I think if I cut them and clean them up, You'll be able to, I think it'll be just like looking through clean glass. Oh, I okay. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of... How did you do this? Um, that was actually this clay that I was using as a slip and it dried out too much and I didn't want to reconstitute it. And I just oh, so this is just a slip color. Um, 
Put your head in there. Um, and so this is all of the other, oh, this is the waste, the waste glaze that I mixed up to make that glaze that I'm using. Because the glaze itself is in those buckets. And these are like specifically, right. chemically, oh, like right. these colors. Right. Well, they're, they're, they're kind of, um, and the, the recipes for glaze and the recipes for clay have a lot of the same components. Mm -hmm. Okay. And all of those components are here. Oh, so, so you can make your own glaze out of these? Right. <laughs> oh. Are they all white? No, they're green. Well, they make those colors? Um, most of those uh, also have elements from other things in them, like a, a colorant. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, and it depends. Cool. Um, what else? I like this one. Nickel car. They also, um, some of the colors burn out at certain temperatures. So you can only use them at like particular fire temperatures. Um, and then in here, so a lot of the kilns, but the two that we have here um, are electric which are basically um, like just little ovens. That? No, these that have like the, oh. the, the, the. Do not use broken. Yeah, so I'm not going to put it down there. Okay. Um, wow, that's it. You just you fuck up one time and the kill's just dead. That's a pretty bad fuck up. Yeah. I, I've never. That should. He puts a thing there. Um, so they're just different sizes. Electric kills and like the kills those little. It's just like a, basically a giant toaster. Yeah. For the most part. A giant toaster where you can pretty much control the speed and at which the temperature goes up. Come look at the giant toaster. Um, and then these are gas kilns. And the gas kilns can go like. <laughs> Bye! Uh -oh. That makes sense. I guess for some reason I thought they were pressurized. Um, Shows how little I know about this. So you want you want you want there to be airflow. Yeah. yeah. And then the gas cones. Um, uh, they get to higher temperatures. They get to much higher temperatures. Wow. That's so cool. They can get to. Wait, what is this thing? Oh, can I not move it? Oh, you can absolutely move it. What is it Those for? Because you stack things in there. On oh, because you want to fill it up as much as possible? Mm -hmm. Yep. What are these made out of? Um, those are uh, bricks. They're made oh. Of, yeah. Like they're just bricks. Yeah. Those are, they're just covered with a lot of stuff. I mean, they're pretty much like... Oh, cool. Hello. It's a this lot of awesome. stacking and a lot of... So, like... You would fill, you would like wait to make something until you could fill the entire thing. Yeah, you, right. So, um, you would want to, like, the more the, the it's best to fire kiln fully open. Um, we'll throw fire in the And so these are like the ones you saw, except they have a fire. Oh, can you touch them? Oh, absolutely. So, but they're really dry. Yeah. So like, what's the point of firing them with the red? Um, it, uh, all of the glaze and the clay bodies will, uh, take on the form that they're supposed to take on, which is, um, so Like, it chemically changes them to fire them. Yeah, very much so. So it's, like, going between this, which is, this is actually mine, which is, like, still fairly weak and porous. Right. Okay, yeah, you can sort of just... <gasps> what are you doing? Okay, those are mine. They're going to toss. And this, which is basically like glass. Well, that's more glaze, but yeah, it's like... Ooh, that's a good noise. <laughs>